Alan, I just got back from New Orleans, okay? My head, my chest, my dick, it all hurts. I'm pissing cottage cheese over here. I don't need a pain in my ass as well. Get the fuck out. I was just gonna ask if you saw those naughty pics of Hope Solo. You know the ones of her butt and other privates? You mean those pussy and balloon nut shots that were from her phone? I don't remember seeing any balloons. Another week, another two-in-one finish. You know, gambling is a lot like fucking after you've chugged a whole liter of whiskey. As long as you're up, you really can't complain. Still, all these weeks of going two-in-one, it's got me feeling kind of like I did the first time I got a hand job from a stripper when I was 14. Like I could have done more. But you know what? Fuck it. And fuck you too. Because a win is a win, and I'm six and three now. If you haven't hopped on board yet, you better. Because this dick is catching fire and it is burning like a bad case of the clap. Wow. For my first pick, I like Baylor to cover 21 on the road against Iowa State. Yeah, it's a big spread, but Baylor scores a lot. I assume it's to make up for all the nerds who attend school there that are keeping it in their pants until marriage. I mean, seriously. Those Baylor dorms must be right with the smell of nocturnal emissions every morning. What the fuck is wrong with those people? Wow. With pick number two, I'm taking Clemson to cover 14 and a half at home against North Carolina. Clemson may have lost to FSU last week, but they won a moral victory in knowing that their fans aren't beach garbage on the fast track to low budget porn Instagramming mouthfuls of cum to celebrate victories. God, I've been to more donkey shows than I have romantic comedies, and even that shit gave me pause. Fuck. Wow. Yeah, I saw the Hope Solo pictures, Alan. The real question is, why did you see them? You hate porn. And buttholes. You cried that one time I showed you that video that my buddy Frank sent me of the chick riding around on that bike that had a dildo for a seat? Because my daughter has the same bike. Except for that awful seat. Alan, get to the fucking point. And if you're beating around the bush to tell me that you're beating off to Hope Solo's bush, I am just gonna lose it. Okay, fine. I wasn't looking up Hope Solo. I was looking up Solo Hope. It's a self-help book for optimistic people who don't have any friends but want to make some. When I googled Solo Hope, it showed me the nudie pictures of Hope Solo. But then I read Solo Hope, and it said that in order to make friends, you should start to talk about things that they want to talk about, too. And I know how you like pictures of ladies' privates. Ugh, fuck, you must be desperate. Usually when I talk about wet, spread pussies, you run out of the room. Ever since Peter took a leave of absence for some reason, <laughs> Stop talking to me because you said I betrayed you. I've been really lonely. Well, Alan, befriending Peter was a real cock slap in the face. You took out your tiny white dick and that big red bush it hides in, and you whacked me across the face with it. Um, okay. And you know how you're gonna make it up to me? You're gonna be my butler. You're gonna come over to my house, and I'm gonna make you get on the ground with a toothbrush and brush the carpet and get all the jizz out of there, and you're gonna wash my sheets, and they might have blood in them too, and you gotta be there at 7.30, and you gotta sit on my toilet seat so that when I wake up and need to take my morning shit with my boner, that it's warm for me, until I say you've paid your debt. Well, I've got a lot of plans this week. Alex is playing Wendy in the school's production of Peter Pan. Uh, your son is in a girl's role? It's a gender-neutral production. <laughs> Funny story. The she-male that offered to blow me in the bathroom of Crystal Burger on Bourbon Street last weekend told me that she, he, was once in a gender-neutral production of Annie. Wonder if that's a coincidence.
Wow. My lead pipe lock of the week. I've got the Cincinnati Bearcats covering plus 15 and a half at Ohio State. Bearcats quarterback Gunnar Keel has a cannon for an arm and could probably get a cheerleader pregnant just by telling her his name. Lock this shit down. Wow. Hey, Diggs. Alec, there's a suit hanging by your cube. I need you to grab it, take it to the cleaners immediately before the stain sets in. What happened to it? Let's just say I fucked a squirter in the broom closet of a casino and her pussy fire hosed all over my crotch. Usually people use the phrase, let's just say, followed by a euphemism that politely states the bad act that they actually did. Okay, whatever. I don't have time to be clever, man. Her badge juices are crusting on my $3,000 suit. I don't know if she ate asparagus the night before and there was mustard in play. She had bedazzled rhinestones all on her cooch that could have gotten everywhere. Come on! 